right, look. His passive makes it to where whenever he gets a takedown on an enemy within three seconds of damaging them, they will leave a wraith for eight seconds for him to possess. Possessing the wraith heals him based off of his max health, and the possession lasts for 10 seconds. During the possession windup, he can't do anything, and the only thing that can attack him is turrets. And when it's finished, he turns into that enemy and has all of that enemy's current items and can use all of that enemy's basic abilities and even gets bonus move speed towards other nearby enemy champions, but he can't use any of their actives or consumables. His Q has a passive that makes his autos do bonus percent current health physical damage, and when Viego damages an enemy with an ability, he will mark them for four seconds. Auto attacking a marked enemy will consume the mark and let him strike twice. The second strike will heal Viego some, and it can crit as well as apply on hit effects. This move also has an active that lets him thrust his sword forward to deal physical damage to anything it connects with. His W fires the mist missile that makes him dash, deal magic damage, and stuns the first enemy it hits. The longer he holds down the move, the longer the stun will last. And even though the move makes Viego dash, he can't use it to get over walls. His E sends out a specter that leaves a trail of mist that gives him bonus attack speed, and if he's not attacking or casting anything, he becomes camouflaged and gets bonus move speed. If this move hits terrain, it will spread all around that specific terrain, which is good for roaming around in that area, but be careful because enemies can see that trail too and might come looking for you. And his ult lets him blink to a target location after a slight delay and deal AoE physical damage. This move applies on hit effects, prioritizes the most wounded enemy champion if this move hits multiple people, and the lower the enemy's health is, the more damage the move will do. And what's even sweeter is that he is immune to being displaced during the cast time, and while Viego is possessing an enemy champion, he gets a free cast of his ultimate that he can use for the possession duration. And he can use this move to get over walls. Whew, cool, bye.